disasters My baby has been around for me Kingdoms have fallen Angels be calling None of that could ever make me leave yeah. Every time I look into your eyes Hello, you guys doing no fab day 14 of 90. Especially made it to two weeks. And um hope you guys wanted to bust them nuts because I know I'm definitely not what it's been about what one, two, three, fourteen days, about fifteen days yet. Um <laughs> it's been about 14, 15, 16 months anymore. Um yeah you guys I'm, I'm doing pretty good on this trick. Hope you guys are doing pretty well on your streaks as well. I'm not busting any nuts. I haven't busted any nuts in about fifteen days. I don't know about you guys, but it's been about fifteen days for me. But um yeah, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty good, pretty good. Um um, yeah, man, I mean, yeah, yeah, um, so, you know, still, in this stage, I know it's funny, because I know, like, um, I, I mean, I, I know how, it, how good it must feel to be, like, free of, like, negative thoughts or whatever, but, um, in my, in my mind, I, I have a lot of, like, negative energy or whatever, um, it's like, um, it, it, it you know, here or there, certain situations, a lot of a lot of negative energy. That's um, you know, that's in my mind. Overthinking thoughts, um, jealousy, um, just a lot of negative energy, which is not, you know, and um, when you want, like, it's like once you know that these thoughts or whatever, you don't have to like, you know, attach yourself to them. That's when that's when you really feel like you like you're free. But it's, it's nothing worse than um, just just feeling like so much negative negative negativity, um, all the time. And um, that, that's why you shouldn't be. That's why. Like whenever you know if you're like really stuck in your head, like if you just talk to somebody, how you just snap out of it. You know, if you, you can't just sit there, you know, we can't just sit there and let our, our minds, you know, just take over. Because we, because our minds are in control, we are, because obviously our thoughts aren't real. Um, they're just not, but, um, you know, it's really hard. I guess it, it gets hard sometimes to, you know, to, um, you know, to, to really like put it in your mind, like, not your thoughts, but. It's, I think it's like it's it's like a lot, of, a lot of cognitive exercises you have to do, just to really, you know, replay over over and over in your mind that you're not your thoughts and you don't have to um, let these thoughts like literally ruin your day. So I just I want to like I just can't I can't wait to get to the point to where I have a negative thought or whatever a negative random pop up in my mind and I like I look at it like uh, okay and I move on. That's when you really know you're free when you don't when, when like simple thoughts that would really like fuck with you back in the day that you don't you don't. You know, you don't even, you don't concern yourself with them now. Um, but since, since, but since, but speaking of changes, I, I think it's funny how, you know, a lot of us say we've been fabulous since we were like 12 or whatever. I think I saw when I was like 12, um, almost 13. It's, it's funny how we say we've been fabulous since like we were like really young. And then, um, you know, we do know, we, we find no fab. And then um, after 90 days, we, well, at 90 days, we think that's going to, you know, like literally change everything about like you know if you, if you if you've been fat for like ten plus years or whatever multiple multiple times a day to some point and as it your, your taste started to increase you start to you start to fat to some more to more darker stuff hardcore stuff um, then when you discover no fat but obviously the relapses the binge all that um, you have to I guess we have, we have to understand that um, it's it, it, you know it, it's not gonna be that simple just to you know change or whatever just for our minds to uh, change. If you've been fapping for for ten plus years, to some heart, and then your taste started to slowly and will go into some deeper, darker stuff. Um, can do you think ninety days can really fix that? That's what I was thinking. That's all I watched some no fap videos the other day, and, I, and, and people were speaking about that. And um, now you know, reading the comment section, I think you know one guy said you don't look change two changes. You don't really see two changes after like um, you know like months and months. Um, I, I forgot the guy's name, but he, I think he said he got like hundred days of no fap, and he, it's really, he's, he feels like there's really no point to keep, to keep going. But um, I agree. I'm at I, I'm at this point. Honestly, at this point, like I, I can't lie to you guys. I don't really. I'm in my mind. I'm not even expecting any benefits at all. You know. You know. Even though I might get, I might feel good. I might get some, but 
I really don't see I really not expecting true true benefits, true true changes into like well after day ninety, like you can you get to day ninety, cool, cool, cool. But then okay, now you still have to you, you, your brain still requires some more um, you know, a little bit a little bit of um a little bit of a little bit of you know, a little oil here. Like the ten man, you know, you a little oil here, a little oil there. But um it's you know, those um all those pathways you're creating in your mind, you can't just you know, after three months after doing it for ten plus years and then um, you know, binging and all that. Because obviously when we doing, when we just fabbing every day, you know, maybe two or three times was 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 good enough. But then when you discover no fapping, you go like five days without fapping, then you say, Oh shit, okay, I relapsed. Then you gotta make up for all those days you missed. I mean, you forgot when I first started no fab when I would relapse, damn. Well for us first it would be like only like three weeks. Like, I would I would be, I would like fab a combined her like three times. Then the, the longer I was doing no fab, I would like binge like five, six times. So I think like seven times, one or two times, like in my whole time no fab career. And uh, you gotta think, if you're doing all those relapsing and all those binges, you really think that um you know, 90 days of not watching porn, whatever, um, will just completely, like, completely will start your brain back to normal. And quite honestly, we'll probably have to go longer than that. And um, I think once we get that in our minds, it makes it, it makes it, it makes it much easier. It makes the um, journey much easier because you're not like so concerned with benefits. Um, just like some people say, I'm counting the days. Um, you know, not not um, just just like some people say, I'm counting the days. You know. Being too concerned with benefits can definitely hinder you too because you 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 expecting to get these good, you know how come the woman not looking at me I haven't got any girls number you know um how come I don't feel like that you know when you put too much onus on the benefits on the quote unquote benefits um of what other people say they they, they received you know you you kind of um you you rush the process and you you, know, you get upset you get pissed you know relapsing deep binge because you you, you hate this. You know, cause you pitch, you relapse, you binge. I, I'm, I'm about to enjoy myself. Fuck it. I'm about to just, I'm about to go crazy. You bust like five nuts, six nuts in, in, in total. But then afterwards, you feel like complete and, uh, and other shit because obviously, you know that's not the right. It's, it's not the way you're, you're supposed to. You're not supposed to be busting six nuts in, in like five hours. That's just not supposed to happen. You, you, your body is, your body is like, your body is shark. Your, your body is shot. Your, sister, your, your soul is shot. It's shot. You just. You, you you just tired and then you got to then you're like okay I know I gotta get back on this no fat back and back and the cycle continues um, and so if you go in the, if you go into it with the mindset of I'm not gonna, I don't care about okay I'm not getting get benefits I'm, I'm not doing it for the benefits I'm doing it to well free myself from porn then you start to get things like you know you start to just get things you know you start, you start to see different you start to see changes and you, you it's like okay okay not focus on the benefits actually does work and you start to you know you start to rush in that moment and so. What do you guys think about that? Like, you guys, what do you guys think about, you know, oh, thinking too much about benefits? I know, I know the thought of, like, okay, yeah, the uh, quote unquote female attraction that you get from NoFap, you know, um, I've definitely got, I've definitely seen, um, you know, I've definitely, you know, gotten that, but, um, it's like, it's like, if you, if you, if you do NoFap just for that, it's like, um, I don't know, it's, it's like, I, I don't think it's like, it's the right, right thing for you to do personally. Which um, I'm, we have, we have our own choices, but you know, to just say okay, I'm, I'm doing no fab just to get do, do, the girls. It's like you're missing the whole point of it, you know. You're trying to you trying to become a better person, better man. You're trying to you know you know heal your mind from all the uh, the, the bullshit you're putting in your mind, and um, becoming too obsessed with chicks, uh, it can um it can it, it can definitely hinder you. But um, we should, you have to keep yourself. We have to keep ourselves focused, and um. Good things will come. Good things come to, to, to those who wait. Now that of course that comes. That's a fine line between just like waiting for something to happen. You have to actually do the work. But um, I tell you, you have to work on yourself. Um, work on your mindset. Do all this stuff. Then you start seeing things that come to you. But um, yeah, you guys um, have like a, a another public speaking moment. Hey, and like in like a, like an hour and a half. So um, so, <laughs> that's pretty exciting. No, I'm joking. I don't know what it's, ever since like I, my community college that one that one specific time I think I spoke about on a long a, a no fat video before how how I literally just I froze up and I just fucked up <laughs> um um like uh it, it was a, it was in student government I was a, I was a parliamentary I had to give like parliamentary procedures and you guys like it's pretty much like a set of going over a set of rules that we use in meetings to like go into meetings there people there were people on just blurting out. You know, random things. It's like you have to follow order. Like you can't just yell out whatever you want to yell out. You have to like it's an order you have to go through. 
you know, you know, in order to uh, ask a question or do this and do that. And so I was going over the rules. I wanted to say a couple of lines. I got up there and I completely froze. You know, it, it, was like, it was like 15 people in the room. And the room was like a, it looked like a room that a president would be in. So I guess environment got to me, you know, the people. Um, and I just froze up. I, I literally walked back to my seat. With the, the, advisor, the advisor of the SA was like this, he's like this, he's he doing this. The president looked like she was like, oh fuck, here it goes again. And um, it was it was just bad, it was bad. And um, <laughs> yeah, I think ever since then, um, you know, public speaking, I just got like, it, it got worse. Because I remember back when I first went to my community college, I remember in my public speaking class, after the first person went for the first speech, who wants, who wants to go next? I do. I went there quick. I went there quick, I was like, okay, I, I do. I don't, I, don't, I, don't really, I don't really remember being that nervous in that class. I don't, and I guess when that, when that incident happened, bam, ever since then, it can be the little stuff, the little, so I just get nervous. But, um, fuck it, you know, if I do, if I get really nervous, I get really nervous. I don't give a damn. I'm only, I'm only gonna be there for like a minute, but, you know, you're, in your mind, like, a mind is, a, is, is a, the core for lots of issues in our life. Most, most of the thoughts that we have are just because our mind is, you know, our mind causes most of our anxiety. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. What I do with, with work in the past, especially when I, when I, when I was in my public speaking class, like in 2014, um, humor, making people laugh or whatever. Um, you make you make somebody laugh. You make the whole crowd laugh. You, you make a couple people laugh and chuckle, and ch chuckle. Uh, it kind of makes you. It, make, it makes you feel a little good. You, you got you, you put yourself in that comedian aspect, you know, of it. Um, you know, it's only in the room. Just you know, making everybody laugh or whatever. Calm everything down. And then it's not that bad, but um, uh, I guess we'll see. But I'll see you guys soon for day 15, and as always, don't relapse.